on your way for this Monday night matchup, Yankees baseball, as New York goes up against the Kansas City Royals. Major League Baseball, right here on 2K Sports. Well, if you can get one deep enough, it might end up right there. Coffin Stadium is our site today. The home field advantage goes to a pitcher's yard today. We're in Kansas City with the Royals. 2K Sports of Major League Baseball welcomes you. I'm Gary Thorne with Steve Phillips and John Crutton. And the starter for Kansas City. So, Steve, uh, what's he going to be conscious of as he looks at this Yankees lineup? Uh, pitching's the key to win any ball game, and with their quality right-hander on the mound today, that's going to be a key as well against this outstanding lineup. He's going to have to execute his pitches to get the outs. Now well, here's the uh, lineup in the books for Joe Girardi. Now some kind of offense right here, star-studded lineup, and really great length and depth with guys that really can put the ball in play. And it's Phil Rizzuto up. Well, Yankees coming in off a loss. They were hoping to take the series after splitting games one and two. They ended up grabbing one game only against the Rays. Fastball swung out and missed, stone one. And that last one, the offense, not much there. It puts a lot of pressure on your pitcher to be absolutely perfect, and it's asking too much. Here's the delivery. Mm -mm, gets him to commit to that pitch, and he's down 0-2. Well, going to try to make some contact in this ball game today because he swung and missed a little bit too much, striking out twice in his last game. Foul ball! It's fouled away. Foul ball! And another foul ball. We see that pitch running in on the hitter's hands. Great defensive swing just to put that ball in play to stay alive. Oh. Tried to get him to go after that curve. One and two. Well, big break on this curve ball. He starts it in the strike zone, but it falls right out of the zone. Good eye by the hitter not to chase it. One two pitch coming. Oh, That's ball just about had him, and it's a two two count. Here's the delivery. Oh. Tough pitch to lay off that time. Full count, 3-2. Well, he tried that four-seam fastball up in the zone to get him the chase. Tough pitch to lay off of. Good job by the hitter. Here's the payoff pitch. Oh. And this is bounced foul to the left side. But well, once you get this long in the at-bat and that pitcher throws you his best fastball and you foul it off, you'd have to think that you have oh. the advantage as a hitter. This one's grounded foul, wide of first. Here's the 3-2 pitch. You're out. Fastball in there, called third strike, one out. Well, Gary, if when I was playing, if I got fastballs right down the middle, when I had two strikes, I might have made it to the big ones. That's exactly right. <laughs> Now's a good time to take a moment to check out the Royals. Here's their defense. And how do you like who's out there, John? Well, Carlos Beltran's a guy that you just love to watch play the outfield position. Has such great long strides. He covers so much ground in such a short period of time. Really helps the pitching staff a lot by making those plays in the gap. It's the Kansas City Royals. They come off a win. So after splitting the first two games, a good outing to finish that series ahead. Two to one against the White Sox in Chicago. Slider swung on and missed. 0 oh and 1. Now definitely uh, at this point of the season, John, the intensity of this ball club appears to be right where they need it. Well, it absolutely is, and it has to maintain that because this is when it becomes an oh. uh, unbelievable grind. And the stronger mentally you are, the better chance you have of winning. Fastball gets away from him there, two and one. Now the two-one pitch. Two. Slider called strike two. 
down, down, down. It's all about location. That breaking ball down in the zone makes it very difficult on the hitter. Foul! And it's fouled off. Fastball is low that time. The count runs full. Oh, it's a great fastball right there down in the strike zone. Now there's so many ways to go. Let's see how he comes back to attack this hitter. Payoff Three, pitch. Two. That misses ball four. Ball four. Now we're going to see if we'll get some motion on the base pass. Well, you just saw a great deal of plate discipline right there on the hitter. Maybe a little fatigue on the pitcher's part. They're not used to throwing that many pitches in one at bat, but the hitter wins it and gets that base on balls. And Mark Ruth Salonik up. Very solid lifetime. 323 average off the Yankees. his seventh season in the bigs two outs and a runner on second here's the pitch hit in the air to center field and that'll put Tien on first the Jesus around third headed for the plate and he scores well right there he just got a pitch he can handle and he delivers a big RBI for the first run of the game here in the second inning let's take a look where the Kansas City Royals rank right now in in the American League. Fifth in hitting with runners in scoring position. Fifth in stolen bases. And they're in the top. One of the best batting averages in the league. One out with runners at first and second. And here's the first one. Oh. Off the plate with a fastball, and it's 1-0. Oh. Uh, Gary, he, he can really swing the bat. Just a quality approach at the plate. Day in and day out, that consistency is critical to their success. He waves at that fastball. Couldn't get to it. One and one. A smash towards the hole. And he's on now. That's going to be another hit for them. This a great situation for some offense. A real pressure mounting right now. That base hit loads up. The base is... He's going to have to make a pitch to try to get out of this mess. Bases are loaded here with only one away. And the first pitch. And that swung on and missed on one. The pitch. Ball. Oh, and he lays off the fastball. Good pitch, one and one. Well, that pitch right there just seemed to get away from the pitcher, took off on him. Looked like he tried to overthrow that a little bit. Ball. Good looking fastball. Called the ball, though, two and one. The two one pitch. Good change that time, but he doesn't bite, and it's now 3-1. and one. Well, anytime you have a count 3-1 and one in your favor as the hitter, you're looking for a pitch in a little box in the location you want to. If he throws it in there, you better be ready and get a good hack at it. That fastball is in there. He lays off it now at 3-2. Well, the hitter must have thought that was either going to go too far out of the zone or too high. He takes the pitch, but it's a strike. The 3-2 pitch. That one swung on, hit, and Jackson. Two down here in the inning. Now we look at which teams have been getting on base the most. Brought to you by State Farm. Number one. On the Tigers, the Orioles second. In third, the Yankees. The Twins fourth. And at number five on the list, the White Sox. You're near the top of the league lead and on base percentage you have to be a very patient team but you also have to have a group of people who aren't afraid to swing with two strikes you know a 
Beltran. Here we go. Strike one. He is safe at second base. Couldn't make a better two-strike pitch right there. He's working well with the catcher, hitting his spots, powering that fastball down and away. And he leaves that one alone. David DeJesus evens the count. When you throw a breaking ball like this, you want to start it on the corner and break it off the zone, trying to get the hitter to chase. The hitter didn't take the bait here. Ball. Missed with the fastball outside, 2-1. and one. He's a career 238 hitter against the Yankees. Here's the 2-1. Oh. And that one fouled off by DeJesus. You're out. Struck him out. That's number eight in the game. So they pick up a hit but leave a man at second and fail to score. Fifth inning upcoming at Kauffman Stadium. And it's Dickey batting. He'll get a start here in the fifth. Here's the first pitch. Swing shoots this one towards the gap, right center. And it's in there. That hitting streak continues. He stops at first. And it'll be a single. Well, that's the start this team needed. Get that first guy in the inning up, get him on base, and let's see if they can bring him around to score. Nettles settles in. He had a single in his last time up. Yeah, and this is a dangerous situation where a game sometimes gets out of hand. You get two on, nobody out. Uh, the pitcher has to take command of this situation. At this stage of the game, it could go either way for him. He could either battle through it and stay in, or he may not be long for the game. Jackson. One away. Still a bit of baseball left to be played in the season. Here's what the Central Division race is looking like, courtesy of State Farm. Twins out in front, first place. In second place, it's the Royals. In third, the Indians. Tigers in fourth place. And wrapping up the list, it's the White Sox. Mantle gets a turn here. Yeah, a tremendous hitter. Runners at second and third, only one away. And here's the first one. Watches that fastball. That goes by him for a strike. Uh, definitely, Gary. You're absolutely right. I mean, this guy's got that kind of pure, raw power that is so fun to watch. The pitch. High speed pitch is in there, and he falls behind 0-2. But, Gary, awfully tough to read this pitch out of his hand. He has great deception, makes it look like a fastball. It just comes out so much slower. Oh. Low and away with that one. It's 1-2. and two. Well, you see there, he tried to go on that outside corner down and away. Give the hitter a lot of credit, though. You know that's a pitch you can't hit, so don't even swing at it. When the catcher looked like he really wanted that one. The one-two on its way. Tried to get him to chase the fastball away, two and two. Swung on, missed, curveball, struck him out, two down. Well, credit the pitcher right there. Good two-strike pitch, down and away. Not much he could have done with that, even if he had made contact. A lot of tough teams in the American League. Let's take a look at where the Yankees sit right now in the rankings. First in home runs, first in runs, and they're also the number one team in slugging percentage. That ability to drive the ball in the gap and take the extra bases, it's all about power and slugging for this lineup. First pitch on the way. First pitch inside with a fastball. Ball one. Here we go, Casey. 
at the belt, the 1-0. 1-0 is a fastball that runs away to an 0. He deals. Fastball misses badly. He's in danger of losing him. Well, 3 0 count right here. Hey, look, I'm giving the hitter the green light and letting him swing away to see if he can do some damage. Had him swinging 3 0, but he misses 3 1. Lined foul towards third. The 3 2 pitch. Big swing and a drive. Deep left center field going back to the wall. Say goodbye. A three run homer. They were tied. Now up by three. That's a big knock. Let's look at how that three-run shot affects their chances. Chance at a victory charted on our WPA graph. Now, Gary, looked like he was setting on that pitch. He got it and drove it out of the park. What they're going to want to do in this ballgame now is take advantage of that and build that momentum up. Well, they need to still be aggressive out there and go right after. Well, the Yankees are back, and they're not messing around as they take the lead. The offense is back. Man on third, two outs. First pitch to him. Right Cut one. fastball, swung on and missed, 0 and 1. Got to love that location down and away. And with that kind of movement, not many guys are going to put it in play. 0 and 1, Granke kicks and delivers. There's a swing and a drive, deep right field. And that'll retire the side. Caught by Wilson. They pick up no runs on a hit, stranding a man at third base. The Yankees five, Kansas City one. And here's Margaret Solano. Grounded out his last time through. First pitch on the way to Groot Solanic. Ball! First pitch fastball. Misses badly that time, 1-0. Well, looking at this guy's pitch count, he's up over 80 pitches thus far. You wonder how long they're going to let him go. Here's the 1-0. Swung on, miss, good Solanic. Strike will even it up. And that's on the outer half for a strike one and two. A good four-seam fastball right there. You have to know yourself. He didn't think he could catch up to it. Better off to take it. The one-two pitch. Smash towards the middle. And the throws in time at first. Mercy, what a play. Great play made. Boy, middle of the infield. You love that kind of help. Well, he stretched out as far as he could possibly go to be able to make the play. Gold glove effort. Coming up on the home stretch of the season now, the Eastern Division. What's it look like? Well, here it is, courtesy of State Farm. Orioles first. In second place, the Yankees. It's the Blue Jays in third. Red Sox seeded fourth. And it's the Rays in the last slot. Oh, for three to this point. Two down. Runners at first and second. Granke with the delivery. That one swung on, hit in the air to deep right center field. Around third, heading home. 
It's off the wall on a hop, and he will score from second base. Well, this is a guy right here that was made to hit fastballs, and that's what he looks for, and that's what he got right there. Put a good swing on it. He knew what to do with it for that double. Lazari up now. He bounced out his last time. Drove in a run earlier in the game. Well, not much of a threat at first base for the steal, but they are trailing, and maybe they'll try the element of surprise, but a lot of risk involved with that. Ready with a 1-0. And he comes back with one in there, and it's 1-1. Pitch on the way. Fastball gets away from him there. Two and one. Now the two one. Here's a fly ball. Could be it. And you just saw it, folks. That's going to be the last play of this game. Well, things came together for New York today. A lot of contributions from different players and leads them on to victory. And here we are at that moment where we're going to find an individual performance to recognize our player of the game. Yeah, I mean, this guy came out and made this team look like world beaters today. Couple of hits, and he went big fly. All in all, it adds up to a nice day's work, and they come away on top. Steve, they're able to put this one away in the record books. That's a good victory. Hey, anytime you can go on the road and beat another major league team, you've got to consider yourself fortunate. Great day for baseball here at 2K Sports. Thank you for tuning in. I'm Gary Thorne with John Crux, Steve Phillips, and our great 2K Sports crew. We wish you a great rest of the day or night, wherever you may be in baseball.